Okay, collective, this is the time for you to choose. Where is your life going next? I've already shuffled the cards we're working with today, which is my own kind of invention, if you will, of the Disney cards. And the, that includes the Marvel archetypes, the Star Wars archetypes, the Disney princesses and princes, etc. You'll get the vibe in a minute. Point is, this is the moment for you to choose the red pill or the blue pill. Thought we'd have a bit of fun given that it's Halloween coming up very soon. I've got a lot of candy in the house for the trick-or-treaters. <laughs> and um, I thought this would be a bit of a giggle, okay? So play along with me. Go ahead and make your selection. Is it going to be the blue pill or the red pill? Right? And let's go. Enjoy your reading. Okay, dear ones, you picked the red pill. This is your reading. Remember, all readings, tarot and every kind of reading that any human being can do are really have to always be taken with a pinch of salt because God has the final say, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. These are the cards, three cards that came through for you, okay? Now these characters, these archetypes will be well known to you, no doubt. But just in case they're not, I will show you close up now each individual card, okay? So here we have CP3O of Star Wars. There you go. You know him, I'm sure. We have Jasmine from Aladdin, Princess Jasmine. Okay. And we have and we have Emperor Palpatine right here. Okay. Okay, Red Pill Collective. I have tuned in to this spread of cards right here. And my sense is that for the majority of you watching, you are actually Jasmine, right? Um, in other words, you're a female or feminine energy that is very beautiful very wise you've achieved a lot in your life probably um or, or certainly that's how you're viewed by others right and um yeah you don't really want for much really i think you know you've got you you've got a lot of things ticked off the list in life that's the vibe i'm getting right if this is you watching this you know, life may not be perfect but it's it's not bad for you right now it, or it hasn't been and i think the era that you're entering into is a time where there could be a pivotal choice that you are invited to make about two masculines right um and and take this how it applies my dears if you're if you're a guy watching this you may still relate to jasmine as your energy or you may not right and and obviously you know if you're feeling like well this is not my reading then go ahead and check out the blue pill <laughs> instead right but i think for most of you watching this the thing that you need to know is that you're gonna have to choose between two men um two guys two mas masculine energies however you want to put it this is, yeah, it's an evil warlock sort of vibe, right? I mean, his energy is very um, dark, I would say kind of demonic, um, but probably, you know, when you meet people like this in, in real life, they don't ever look like this, unfortunately. It would be a lot easier if they did. They will probably look quite the opposite. So they may well look like a counterpart to Jasmine, right? Typically, you know, the bad guy in real life is not going to be dressed in a cloak like this and, you know, giving you all the red flags that you could you could see. Obviously, you'll have to be a bit more sophisticated in how you suss out um, who this is when they show up in your life. Um, but just keep in mind that, that if this sort of plays out for you, that the person who appears very charming, very attractive, um, all ticks a lot of boxes, right? They'll tick a lot of boxes. Um, and that's how you'll know it's actually this guy underneath, frankly, you know. Um, and obviously, use your own discernment, you know. Again, keep in mind what I said at the beginning. God has the final say on everything. So this could be not accurate for you at all. But I suspect that, you know, 
the person when he shows up he'll look like the opposite of this basically so he'll be light he will be you know whether he's black or white he'll be a, probably fair skinned very attractive um beautiful eyes um you know as i say tick a lot of boxes physically right but this could be what you're dealing with and, and and you'll need to look for signs you know so we're talking about a narcissist basically um and a narcissist who is cloaked and you'll you know he's got this cloak on hasn't he in this image this is him on the inside unfortunately um so be be mindful of that okay and then you've got this other person who probably will be another male figure cp3o such a dutiful he's a servant really um so this person may well be a virgo this person um this one might be an aries or a fire sign right just just maybe you know maybe not didn't have to be but yeah that's the vibe aries actually i'm getting strong actually aries um virgo um what other signs might this be um, i'm getting pretty strong virgo Gemini, maybe, because he speaks lots of languages, this guy. That's one of his um, skill sets is that he he's like, I want to say he's like a butler, you know. So the person who, when, when this person shows up in your life, he'll have a demeanor that is very much like, you know, your mother will like him. He, he speaks well. Um, he's, um, what's the word? He's like a diplomat, really. Um, and that is, he's a genuine person. This is a genuine person, right? um uh, probably not very um you know what's the word doesn't he's not like a roid guy he's not going to be in the gym all the time he's he's more of a shy retiring type and again just to be clear my loves this isn't about you've got to pick one you don't i think that's the thing that's the thing actually that i'm really getting is that i i don't think either of these people and i'm going to assume they're guys who you're going to have to choose right as the feminine i don't think either of them are right for you that right that's the vibe i'm getting again you know take this or not take it how you want but they're both wrong <laughs> um they both have uh qualities that you you will admire right you might feel pressured uh i haven't done that deliberately actually i put her in the middle but you know you may well feel like you're you're torn in the middle you have to choose you don't have to choose not choosing is also making a choice and you're free to do that too I don't necessarily advise that as a way to live you know uh as in being passive and just not deciding that's not usually helpful in the long term it's much more empowering usually i would say to kind of decide for yourself what feels right but just know that you can choose yourself you can choose yourself and i think that's one of the things about jasmine that i really like and she's she's obviously one of the earlier princesses before they started to make the princesses like super um much more feminist if you will or much well, more she was she was pretty gutsy though if you go back and watch it i mean if you're into the disney you're watching this i'm going to assume you're kind of into this kind of these you know again the thing that's so fascinating about all of these stories and why i chose to use these cards uh for divination is that they're just so replete with archetypes there's just like was begging begging to be to be um explored right and so as an archetype one thing about jasmine is that she's she's feisty she's brave she is not afraid to call out um misogyny she is not afraid to stand up to masculines powerful masculines like her father who's a king and um you know initially she's not allowed to uh i believe i might be i might be making this up i might have mis misremembered but i believe she has to challenge her father in terms of really um being next to, she's she's obviously heir to the to royalty but she wasn't going to be able to take up the throne because in her kingdom to my recollection which is an arabian kingdom i believe uh that was not allowed because she's a female right but she challenged that and i believe that ultimately you know that was her path and i know there's a second one isn't there i think they always make sequels don't they but the, but you get my point here you know if you if you resonate with this reading definitely go look her up if you feel that yes you are the main character here definitely go and look up you know the storyline and you will find some of these things that i'm touching on really really interesting especially for such an early early ish if you know what i mean disney princess so so yeah that's what's coming up for you a red pill collective that you are likely going to have to make a choice probably between two masculines could be two jobs though it could be you know it could be something else maybe you're a female in a male dominated industry and you're selecting between two jobs it could be that um, but either way you're gonna have to make a choice and um 
just remember the main takeaway from this reading that I want you to always keep in mind is that you can choose yourself. Okay. So my loves, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful and I will see you in the next one. I just found this feather, which is beautiful. So the angels are really with us right here. I don't know where that's come from because yeah, that's really sweet. I'm going to put it here. <laughs> Welcome blue pill collective let's see what the uh, angels have to say to you what's coming up in your life next and we've already shuffled these cards but i do like to be thorough okay collective you've actually got four cards i'm gonna allow it <laughs> i was gonna put one of them back but actually straight away i got a message that that these two go together let me show you what we have here okay so we have mufasa no Mufa yeah mufasa that's right i'm right mufasa captain america Cruz Ramirez from the Cars genre of films, I think. It's Cars, isn't it? And then Jabba. Whoa. It's lots of masculine energy. Quite kind of the opposite of a Red Pill Collective. But not really. Maybe not really. But yeah, different. Different energy altogether. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, Blue Pill Collective. This was a lot of energy. I really had to kind of meditate um, to get the story and the message that I feel is relevant for you. And it's possible that there's a couple. So bear with me, okay? What I'm getting is that um, for some of you, you are going to have the opportunity to fulfill something that you've wanted to do for a long time okay it's something that you've only dreamed of doing for a long time and so in this instance you know if you're already starting to think wow okay if that's me that's cool and you're resonating with this just want to say off the off the bat i think this is you your main character vibe is is this one it's cruz ramirez and I'll, I'll go into a little bit more about who she is in just a second but i just want to lay out the initial um narrative for you okay you know sometimes when things happen by chance in readings you just take it as a chance and other times you think no no there's something in that so you notice here to that point mufasa here the lion is looking at cruz ramirez right so cruz ramirez just to give you a breakdown of, of her archetype energy is a kind of an underdog basically um she is someone who is a little bit underestimated she's very sweet she's very um dedicated to her work as a trainer she kind of um works with cars that for whatever reason almost like need rehabilitation and she kind of um trains them back into their full former glory that right in a nutshell um she's she's very much behind the scenes right uh, and so if again if you're resonating with that then then that is you right and you're very much um diligent hard working um yeah really disciplined and focused and also generous and kind with what you know you're not stingy with sharing your knowledge and your insight right and so you see here that this the big dog first big dog i mean obviously captain america will get to him in a minute but big dog here as it as it were metaphorically speaking is looking at cruz ramirez and with a kind of quizzical look you could say or maybe even like mm, i'm not sure about you i'm keeping my eye on you maybe but you can imagine if they were somehow in the same movie you know she would be really in awe of him like she was with whatever mcqueen the 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 car that was she ended up working with that was her all-time hero right so in a similar way you've got this this um big masculine energy you know he kind of represents he's, he's got the keys to the kingdom for goodness sake right so he is equivalent to i don't know someone like if you were interning at tesla or something or google or you know some big corporate apple and it was steve jobs or whatever you know what i mean it's that kind of energy i'm getting it's somewhere that it could be in your job that you're in it could be in a new environment but either way you are catching the eye of someone important and you are maybe expectedly maybe unexpectedly gonna get the opportunity to work with them 
to even assist them in ways that you think might seem unimaginable. Another way I'm gonna I'm gonna take this reading, guys, is that you will know this is for you if you know the backstory of Captain America resonates for you. So the thing that's cool about Captain America is that you know he's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, Marvel character. He um, self had many incarnations. One of the cool things I learned about him is that you know he had this serum that turned him into this kind of you know almost like an adonis uh, super superman type energy before he he had that transformation he was sick all the time he was weaker he was kind of i would imagine overlooked and the other thing that's interesting i think is that when he got the serum that turned him into you know captain america as we kind of know the figure and character archetype today when he got that it kind of enhanced both his good positive attributes and his less positive ones so for me i feel as though coming into contact with this experience whatever it's going to be is going to test you um it's going to test you because in the wings you've got this jabba the hut character and jabba the hut i mean i've just been you know learning and listening as all of us have about the music industry and it's a music it's an industry as you some of you know i almost went into really it's a very satanic um demonic industry that is just about slave and master that's that's all it is right um you don't have to agree with me if you you know you still look up to the people who you know are being implicated in some of the diddler stuff uh that's up to you right but to me that's what it is and that's to me what jabba represents if you think about i mean i can't forget how he had princess leia in bondage and had her in a skimpy bikini in one of the star wars movies when he captured her right and it was so unnecessary right but that's what that's what that energy does you know it's literally just today i feel it's so uncanny the synchronicity i was listening to it was a reaction video actually and it was i don't even know who this young woman was but she was talking about how she worked for six years for this organization this people these people in entertainment um it was one of those like you got talent type things it wasn't you got talent but it was something like that where it's like oh we're gonna give you your big break and just do this do that and then eventually you know you will be paid loads of money and you'll be famous and you'll work with this person and that person so it's a similar thing to what i'm picking up is that you're gonna get the opportunity to work with a real hero of yours or uh in an industry or a job or something that you've really wanted to it's like a dream come true but there may well be a sinister aspect to it or someone who is just like the fly in the ointment, i.e. Jabba. There may well be, obviously, if it is the entertainment industry, please have your lawyers look at everything and please be really careful because, you know, some of you maybe are in that world. Um, but the point is, even if it's less dramatic than all the diddler stuff, there's an energy that um, wants to, i.e. Jabba vibes, Jabba archetype, wants to kind of keep you stuck in something. It could be that the contract that you sign isn't all that and you might think in your excitement that it's great and you sign it. Or it could even be something, not in, not an opportunity, but more like a property or a business deal or um, some opportunity that feels like a dream come true that actually comes with some caveats that you need to be wary of. And that's the Jabba vibe, okay? That will bind you in some something that is um un unwanted and unwelcome and unnecessary so the thing is you know you do have the strength to um work this out you have the superpowers you know he is a skilled captain america that is he's skilled in martial arts and you know i would take that as you know more metaphorically it's not just literally hand-to-hand -hand combat that is his skill and being you can run a mile in a minute and all of that stuff you may well have built yourself up from being really poorly in the past, being really unwell in the past, right? But even if, again, your transformation wasn't that dramatic and you, you can't run a mile, you can't run at all, you know, don't, don't let that trip you up here. The point is that you have hidden abilities, you have the gifts and talents, the know-how to cut through this mess, to really still benefit from whatever this opportunity is. But you need to go in with your eyes wide open is the message I'm getting, really. Yeah, it's kind of exciting, but you just need to have your eyes open, really. You have to look out for this Jabba person or, <laughs> you know, a bit of a pitfall there, okay? All right, my loves, well, that was your reading. I hope you found that kind of fun and interesting. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed that remember what i said in the beginning god always has the final say thank you for being with me and i will see you in the next one